Caption layers can be added to any slide by clicking on the Caption icon in the Layers tab. The next window that pops up is where you can add your text and choose your font. Once you hit OK, all of the other settings such as alignment, font size, spacing, and color and texture are in the Caption Settings tab. Caption layers are displayed in a rich text format, which means you can use multiple fonts in a single caption layer. You can find a specific font in your list easily by clicking on the drop-down menu, then type the first letter of the font you're looking for, and the list will automatically jump to that part of the alphabet. Captions can be animated for all of the same attributes that an image layer can. They can be included in groups and even used as masks. If you're using a slide style that has a caption layer in it, you can change the text easily in the Content tab, where the font type, size, and color are easily customized. For all other caption attributes, click on the Layers tab, then the Caption Settings tab. If you don't want to use a caption that is included in a slide style, you can always delete it or turn that layer off. The ability to animate words and letters separately is an essential part of creating what's known as kinetic typography. Photopia Director allows you to do this by treating caption layers in a similar manner as it does slices. So each word and letter in a caption is essentially a slice. You'll find the subset for words and characters under any caption layer that you create. Similar to slices, you can open the word slices or character slices by clicking on this icon in the layers tab or by going into the keyframe tab and opening the slice subsets. Caption slices can be animated in nearly every attribute that an image layer can with the exception of outline and shadow. Those two attributes can be added and animated on the main caption layer, but only as a whole caption, not on individual slices.